And just a final question to you, Liam, about Arsenal. Um, a, a tonic, if you like, against Bournemouth, uh, a three-nil win. I mean, Bournemouth are in big, big, big trouble. I don't think they've scored a goal. They haven't got a point. And Eddie Howe, uh, you know, has done an amazing job there, taking them from uh, examinership all the way to the Premier League, keeping them in the Premier League. Do you think you uh, watch that game? Uh, is, are they going to be in trouble, Bournemouth? I think they are, Eamon. Yeah, I think they are. They lacked, you know, a midfield, in my opinion. They lacked uh, any threat up front. Um, and they just looked lost. And, you know, Arsenal had a very, very comfortable uh, afternoon uh, when, you know, they're uh, not playing particularly well either. Uh, I think any team that um, had a bit of organisation about them and uh, could hit teams on the break would have put Arsenal in trouble, uh, but they had a very easy easy run. And unfortunately for Eddie Howe, I think maybe the players he's bought in the transfer market, uh, he's had £20 million for Ake, the boy at Chelsea, you know. Yes. He looks too small for me to be a centre-back in the Premier League. Right. Uh but home, you know, the home home uh, form is what it's all about. If they can start winning games at home, they could get out of trouble. But they're one of the candidates for relegation, without any doubt. Yeah, John, um, Eddie Howe, he's done an amazing job to get them all the way. And their home ground holds 12,000 people. Yeah, so yeah. they can't get money uh, to really uh, compete in this league. Uh, where does Eddie Howe go? Should he have jumped ship? Uh, I'd, I'd have jumped ship. I'd have, I think yeah. I'd have said, "Look, guys, I've gone as far as I can, and I've kept you in yeah. the Premier League." Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's actually what what I played with Big Jack. Yeah, Big Jack used to say uh, when he was going into his manager, "I wouldn't stay longer than three years at any club." Yeah, and I didn't understand what he was talking about at the time. Yeah, but when uh, you know when he went to Middlesbrough, for example, he did leave after three years. Then. Yeah. And he took them up in the first year. He did, yeah. Said he finished eighth in the first first season in the, in the f first division. And I think he finished seventh. And I think the next season they were around about nine. And the supporters turned on him. Yeah, yeah. Which happens. Yeah. You know, eating bread is soon forgotten. Yeah. Amen. And in Howe's case, he has to take the club that step forward. Right. Like they brought, they brought them up in the, and I think the spirit. You know, they yeah. always talk about the first year. Sure. The lads are going to, yeah. then you got the second season syndrome. Yeah. He's getting probably the third or fourth sy syndrome now yeah. because now he has to go into the transfer market to improve the players. Yeah. Now he's into a different game altogether. So if you were looking at anybody in a very cynical way, you would say to the likes of Eddie Howe, You've done brilliantly. You've taken them up the divisions. You got into the Premiership. Leave it there. Liam, I'll leave the last word with you. Should he have jumped? <laughs> and will he be pushed? Well, that's very... No, like he's very, he's, he's very attached to, to Bournemouth, isn't he? Yes, he you is. You know, yeah. they gave him his big chance and he's not going to... He's not going to walk in or walk out, I don't think. And Look, look he, he, they were poor on, on at the weekend, but uh, you know I think Bournemouth they were very unlucky against Man City to lose that late goal well, and be yeah. defeated. So, you know, you know you can't judge uh, uh, Premiership chances on, on one weekend. It's going to be a long. It's 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 a marathon, aim and it's not a sprint. So, um, look at Brighton got a good result. People yes. are saying you know. They're in trouble. They beat West Brom, a team that's gone very well. They beat them 3-1. They beat them comfortably. And now Brighton have you know, jumped clear of the relegation zone. So these things can happen in the Premiership. It's time. And we've got to take our time on making judgments, I think.